Have you ever seen this Garfield comic strip before? I just wanted to bring attention to it because it's everything that's perfect with the world. Why does Garfield have John's pipe? Won't the nicotine kill Garfield? Why is John surprised that Garfield stole it? So many questions and yet so little time. It's like all of life's mysteries wrapped in one little comic strip. Such a good comic strip. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the show where we equally hate Mondays and lasagna. I just don't like lasagna, okay? I don't know why, but every lasagna I've ever had, I've just never really liked. Now spaghetti, that's the real shit right there. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and today's Feels Bad Friday. Happy Friday. On Fridays, I take a look at media that's, well, bad. Anything that's just downright awful, or maybe it's just misunderstood. Either way, we're about to find out. Back when I was a kid, every Sunday, I would wait for my dad to go through the newspaper just so that I could read the Sunday comics. I would read just about every single one of them, but one of those comics that stuck out the most to me was Garfield. I would then go on to read tons of the Garfield comics online in the late part of my elementary school years as well as my early middle school years. I even watched the Garfield movies when they came out, some of the Garfield cartoons, and I don't remember much about those but I'm sure they'll be on a Phil's Bad Friday eventually. Either way, I liked Garfield as a kid. That's my point. But did you know they made video games? Garfield video games. This is what I didn't know I needed in my life, and I still don't need in my life. See, it wasn't until I heard about Garfield Kart, and I was like, that's a game I would never want my unborn children to touch, but it was only 99 cents on Steam, and I'm like, I guess I'll play it. Why not? And so I've played it. Sad to announce, I've played it. I've also played a couple of Garfield Game Boy games. And now we're here. <laughs> now we're in this episode of Your Everyday Nerd. So welcome to the episode. Welcome to my misery. And as Philip DeFranco says, let's just jump right into it. I don't give a f I'm Gazorpazorp f***ing field, bitch. Now give me my f***ing enchilada. Garfield and his nine lives. Also known as Garfield, and I'm lying to you because you don't get that many lives, and I wished I had zero lives because I now hate myself more than I did before I played the game, is a Game Boy Advance game that came out in 2006. There's not an actual plot that I could see. You just go through 10 different levels, each of which have a certain different task that you have to accomplish, while you can also eat up 100 pieces of food. At the end of every three levels, you have to fight a boss. This game is bad. I know, I know. It's a surprise that it's bad because you know it's Phil's Bad Friday and here on Phil's Bad Friday we shit on bad games. But I tried to beat this game on stream the other day and I couldn't. I physically could not beat the game because it started doing some bullshit that stopped me from playing. So here's the deal. Level one, you're Garfield on a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Pretty easy level once you figure out what hurts you and what doesn't. You can even get an extra life if you know where to look. Level two, haunted house time. This Lizard. is hard. There's this dumbass ghost that can kill you pretty quickly. Other than that, you go get a key, find the door, you're good. Then there's level three. The hardest Lizard. thing I've ever played in a video game. And I've beaten Dark Souls twice. For starters, there's these monkeys that throw pies at you. They're hard to avoid. Plus, there's a lot of Y-axis stuff here, so you're climbing ladders, and you know I don't like ladders from the Mega Man episode. There's springs that you jump off. There's a lot of obstacles. But here's my biggest complaint with this entire game. The jumping mechanic, it sucks. It's almost unplayable because of the jumping mechanic. See, there's these rings of fire at the beginning of the third level, and if you don't jump a certain way, you end up jumping into them repeatedly over and over again. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my lasagna. But you know what? I eventually succeeded. I got through the level, and then there was this boss. I started running into it, nothing happened. I would jump onto it, nothing happened. Kick it. Nothing happened. This boss was invincible and evidently so was I. 
So I looked up a walkthrough. Apparently, glad the game told me this, I needed to use the R button. Hadn't used this button throughout the entire game, but this was how I beat the boss. Or at least this is how I was going to beat the boss. You hold the R button, run into the boss, that makes him angry, he starts attacking you. This is when I died. Bringing me back to the beginning of the level. Level 3. Which would have been fine in any other video game. I would have persevered, gotten good, beat the level again, beat the boss, move on to level 4. If it hadn't been for whatever I was about to face next. So I died, and then all of a sudden, I ended up with less than half health and one life. Every single time I started a level, it didn't matter what I did, I would end up with that much health and one life. Sometimes, just randomly, I would die in one hit, no matter what. I tried over and over again to beat this level, but because of this incredibly stupid monkeys, because of the awful level design, and because of this weird bug that, who knows if it was this happened to everybody, I gave up. I gave up on the game because I wasn't going to deal with this. I give Garfield and his nine lives two lasagnas out of ten. No. Down. Down, dumb dog. Garfield the Search for Pookie, published by the same company that did Garfield and his nine lives, The Game Factory. I know, innovative title. Garfield the Search for Pookie came out in 2005 for the Game Boy Advance. The story goes as follows. One night when Garfield was asleep, three mice come in and steal his teddy bear, Pookie. The next morning he wakes up and he has to go save Pookie. That's it. That's the story. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. See, this game is another platformer with a lot of the same objectives that Garfield and his nine lives had, except this time the game actually looks a little bit better, even though this one came out in 2005, a whole year before the first game that we talked about came out. Also, there are a ton of collectibles in this one. There's like 400 per level, which is ridiculous. So the first level, John tells Garfield he has to go catch these mice before he can go outside. So we're inside the house, we have four different sub-levels where we catch three mice per section, 12 mice. It, just, it goes on for way too long. Way too long. On a positive note, I will say, the music for this section, really nice, really groovy. I really enjoyed this music and it, it kind of tricked me because for a solid 10 minutes, I thought this was what fun was. After you catch the mice, they're like, Yo, Garfield, we'll help you get the bad mice that stole your teddy bear if you let us free. And Garfield's like, Sure, lasagna, lasagna, I hate Mondays. And then he goes outside, and it's time for level two. The level that I gave up on. Are you seeing a pattern here? Start a Garfield game, have a little bit of fun, realize it's awful, give up. So it's, it's kind of like my life, almost. Um, haven't quite given up yet, but we're, we're getting there. It's, it's, I've realized it's awful. That's for damn sure. The objective of this level is to guide Odie to some spots on the ground so that he can dig. I'm guessing because this will hopefully get Garfield Pookie back, but it's only level 2, so we know it's not going to really get him back. It's going to be a while before we actually get him back. We still have to play the rest of the game. Again, the music is good here. I don't know why, but it is. The problem with this level is that it's garbage. <laughs> There's these things, I don't know what it is, but it's sticky and it's on the ground. We're gonna call it glue, because I could call it something else, but that's too easy of a joke. This glue on the ground, it, it's at points where it makes you stick to the ground, right? And you can't jump when you're stuck to the ground. So you have to like make these really weird long jumps all the time, like the entire level. Then you pair that with these dumbass butterflies. And oh, did I mention that the attacking mechanic in this game is pretty dumb? It's just, it's just pretty dumb. It's just pretty dumb and it makes things more complicated than it should be because of course it does because it's a Garfield game. Also, Odie has teleportation powers. Did you know that? I didn't, but he just like reappears beside you no matter how far you've gone. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. Super weird. Either way, I didn't actually beat this level. I ended up giving up after two game over screens. But I will say, I'm glad I was streaming this game because the game had a password based system. So that means after I game over it, if I hadn't been streaming, 
I wouldn't have known that password, which means that I would have had to replay the first level. That would have been, that would have been, that would have taken too long. I'm sorry, Garfield. I'm sorry that we'll never find Pookie. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody's gonna miss him. I'm not gonna miss him. Lasagna. Pookie, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done again. Done. God, I go hard for your yield. Eat your lasagna. No, I'm not feeling too good, John. But it doesn't matter. Cause now it's time for the main event. Garfield Card. Originally released in 2013. Yes, that was only five years ago. And it's, it's a bad game, spoiler. On Nintendo 3DS. It was also recently released on Steam. And I got to pay 99 cents for it. So I, I had to give it a shot. I had to be like, yep, let's. Let's play it. Let's play it, boys. Let's see how Garfield Kart really is. Garfield Kart was developed by Artifact Studio, a French company whose website shows that they might actually be proud of making this game. Not sure. Either way, as you can tell from the rest of the Garfield games that we've talked about, this one is awful. So I booted up this game and immediately thought, is this a mobile game port? Oh wait, guess what? It is a mobile game port, and it's free on Android and iOS. I could have played this for free on my phone instead of on my PC. Instead, I spent 99 cents that I could have spent on a sweet tea at McDonald's. So after you figure out how the controls work, which is kind of weird on PC, it's actually a pretty simple game. It just so happens that the cart handles awful, the scenery looks like the inside of my asshole, the music is annoying, the items, oh I'll get to the items in a bit, and it's it's hard to win an actual game. The AI in Garfield Kart is hard to beat sometimes. I don't know why, it just might be because it's hard to handle the cart, but either way, the game is difficult. So for starters, there is a tutorial. You're forced to play the tutorial on both PC and mobile. On mobile, the controls are a lot easier to grasp because they tell you exactly what they are. On PC, they do not. Also, the game looks better on mobile, which is ridiculous. I can't speak on the 3DS version because I don't want to buy it. And it's, let's be honest, it's probably not any better than these versions anyways. The tutorial takes forever though. You drive around in a dreadful neighborhood as the game tells you what kind of maneuvers you can do. Then they show off all the different items. Every single item basically does like the same thing. It either gives you a boost, like the lasagna, or you can jump with the spring. Then you can like throw pies at people, or you can literally take like seven of the different items and like throw them in front of you or behind you. It's super weird and not balanced at all. It's like somebody in French was just like, ah, wee oui, wee, oui, let's take Mario Kart, but put Garfield in there. And then they ate a croissant and they turned this out. That's what this game is. It's like croissant. Lasagna. That's what Garfield Kart is, everybody. There's also coins everywhere on the track, but unlike Mario Kart, where the coins give you like a small, very small infinitesimal boost, it doesn't really matter, but it gives you a boost. These coins do nothing. Oh wait, just kidding. They're in-game currency, everybody. You can spend them on new items, like dumbass hats, or new characters, or you can just buy microtransactions. Instead, if you're playing like the mobile version, which I, I honestly, mobile version is probably the superior version. That's, that's what I'm kind of seeing here. I mean, I wish I could talk more about Garfield Kart, but I can't because I didn't play any more of that. I played like two hours of it and I'm tired and I just want to go to bed because it's bad and I suck at it because it's bad. At the end of the day, Garfield is a treasured icon across the Sunday comics world, but translating paper to video games for this fat cat was a sheer mistake and unfortunately these three games is just the tip of the iceberg lettuce. I, I, I think the moral of the story is don't be a Garfield. Don't abuse the people around you, don't be a glutton, don't be lazy, or one day you'll end up in multiple licensed games that some poor unpaid worker in France worked on because he wanted another baguette for lunch. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Pokemon! Pokemon! Everybody's raving about that new Pokemon game. Oh, apparently they're not. They're not too thrilled about it, but guess what? I'm going to be talking about it once it releases, and I thought, 
some of you guys might want to play it alongside me when I talk about it on Your Everyday Nerd. So, I got some news for you. That's right, we're doing a giveaway here. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee release on November 16th. So before that release date, I'm giving away one copy of the game. You get to pick which version you want if you win. Check out the link in the description box below before it's too late to enter and return to future episodes of Your Everyday Nerd to find out other ways you can win the giveaway. And that's all we have time for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're salty, that's what that dislike button is for, I guess. Go ahead and subscribe because we're doing this show six days a week. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.